Well, it's been a big week, as you know, in politics. From FBI Director James Comey not recommending charges for Hillary Clinton to President Obama saying that there's never, ever been anyone more qualified for president than Hillary. So what do you, what do you, the voter, think? Let's ask Lee Carter. She's a pollster with Melansky and Partners. Hey, Lee, good to see hey, you again. Hey, great to be here. Let's uh, go through some of the sound bites from this week. Let's start with James Comey's soundbite, uh, FBI director saying that no reasonable prosecutor, in his opinion, would ever take this case and watch the dials. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. In looking back at our investigations, into the mishandling or removal of classified information, we cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts. And so you can see it here. Republicans and independents really agree here. This was an F moment for them. Democrats, not surprisingly, gave a B. I think they all breathe a sigh of relief. But the real story here is the independents. And is this also going to be something that people can rally behind Donald Trump on and agree that this isn't fair, this isn't right? So you can see that there's definitely agreement there between the independents and the Republicans. Donald Trump upset about what happened, that Hillary Clinton got off scot-free. So he's blasting Hillary at one of his campaign stops. Take a listen. Our system is absolutely, totally rigged. And we've got Hillary Clinton, who's weak, who's ineffective. She'll never be able to do the job. Her judgment is horrible. Look at her judgment on emails. She should not be allowed to serve as president of the United States. And look, you can see there, the Republicans at times were even off the charts, and that's, a, that's an A. Independents a B. Democrats, not surprisingly, an F here. But the point is, Republicans and independents are really rallying around Donald Trump in this moment and saying, we agree, this is not fair. This was a great attack. This was the right message for him to be focused on. He should stick to this and also his message about jobs, national security, and making America great again, because clearly it's resonating with voters. Yeah, independents really agreeing with him on that, and they're the ones that could turn this election either one way or the other. For sure. All right, the President of the United States, President Obama campaigning for the first time with Hillary in North Carolina this week. He's saying, well, listen to what he says and look at the yellow line, the independence. There has never been any man or woman more qualified for this office than Hillary Clinton. Ever. So the bottom line is, I know Hillary can do the job. And that's why I am so proud, North Carolina, to endorse Hillary Clinton as the next president of the United States. Lee, the red line disappeared for a while. Republicans did. did not agree with that. You could not see it there. The Republicans gave an F. You see, independence a D. Democrats, not surprisingly, an A. What I think, again, most important to watch there is the independence. They're just not tracking. And by Man. the way, what we've heard from folks is that the least important thing is somebody is experienced or qualified for the job. This is the year of the outsider. We want to hear something different. And reminder, President Obama wasn't himself the most qualified candidate when he went into office. And so it's not necessarily an argument that resonates with folks. Lee Carter, thank you so much for being here.